Hey there. So I was experimenting with this pretty cool AI workflow and I thought I would share this with you. My goal is to get a stock image. Let's call it a stock image of a man, a photo shoot. I want to have this face representing from this particular portrait and I wanna use this particular pose from this photograph, right? So this face with this particular pose. So how do I go about it? Let's get to it, right? I'll not bore you with any details in here. So I'm leveraging Focus, which is a stable diffusion UI. I'm running it on the cloud with RTX 3090 NVIDIA graphics card. What I'm doing is I'm leveraging, first of all, this particular portrait image. I'm using it as an image prompt, right? So here I have image prompt selected on Focus. Then I've selected the face swap because I want to swap this particular face in the final image. And I have set the weight to 1.5. I'm experimenting with one uh, below one and uh, 1.7. I'm seeing which one works the best. So right now it's at 1.5. Then I have also included the image where I want to copy the post from. After I upload this image, I have selected the Pyracani, which is again a control net model which uses the pose of the particular image. And I have set up the weight to one. All right, so once that is done, I have input my prompt, which you see over here is a six, a 60 year old man with a rugged face with a slight tan, gray hair and a beard, wearing a white shirt and a black tie is holding papers and looking at the camera, right? He's standing on a street corner, depth of field, park cars and light in the background. So even though I have these reference images, I have to describe them in the prompt quite well, just in terms of the pose, what the subject is plus the background details, right? So once I do that, I have to also select the style, which is the focus photography, and then the model, which is Juggernaut XL. By the way, Juggernaut XL is one of the latest AI models out there to create really high quality, highly realistic portrait photos. Uh, I have tested it multiple times, and in fact, uh, in many of the results, it's even better than Mid Journey. So I love using this. And once I have those selected, I can set up the aspect ratio one is to one. And yeah, then I'm good to go. So I'm going to hit generate. All right, so there we have it. I was just timing it and it took us around 50 seconds for all of these four generations. So yeah, it's pretty fast and it's pretty high quality. And as you see over here, we are very close to what we wanted to achieve. I mean, some of the results are not that great here. I see white gloves, but I think most of the images are pretty cool. And I can take these images as raw images to then use an AI enhancer like Kriya, right? And then turn it into a much more high quality image from here. So imagine all the possibilities that uh, this workflow has to offer and yeah, give it a try.